Welcome to Christie's Stampin' Spot. I have got a few fun things. We are going to play with um, the bonsai birthday stuff today, which I love. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about, um, don't forget to subscribe to um, Paper Pumpkin this month. You have till May 10th to um, get your... Uh, to subscribe and what's super cool about our paper pumpkin this month is that it has awesome thanks my daughter's checking out make sure she can hear me what's cool about pure pumpkin is that they um see how it's white it's because they're going to announce on the 24th which new in colors so um i think i mentioned before that we have um the fabulous new catalog for demonstrators we get to see that tomorrow We've got like this little fun countdown clock um, on our work page, which is fabulous. But um, so Demonstrator can see the new catalog that comes out in June um, tomorrow on PDF. But also comes out tomorrow is our um, retired list. So I'll be having an email go out probably around 2 o'clock tomorrow. It will let you guys know what what um, products are in the main catalog that are going away. What might be, might, so you can kind of see what's staying as well, which... Um, if there's anything on that list that you want, make sure you get on there and get it right away because it goes away super quick, super quick. Um, but because it's all coming out tomorrow, what the new ink colors will be, um, people probably didn't want to spoil it for demonstrators. So they didn't tell us what those ink colors were, except for that one that's the bumblebee that's in the new garden suite, the Orny garden suite. But um, they will announce on the 24th what the ink colors will be on the paper pumpkin before. Um, so that we can all be surprised tomorrow when we get to see um, the most demonstrators. So they're excited about that. So we're gonna play with today, we're gonna play with the um, the birthday bonsai. And a lot of these these products have been out of stock. Um, they have like little pom-poms and that gorgeous ribbon, and then even the dyes were out for a while, but it's all back in stock, so you guys can get all of these products in my online store which is super awesome. We're gonna make a fun card today. So I'm gonna switch you guys down. And yay, it looks like it's all working, which is fabulous. And then I did wanna mention that I do have this, the, the April, um, if you order from me this month, um, I will send you, I think we'll probably extend it for a couple months for those that, that want it, that hadn't gotten it, but um, it's 90 tutorials for this the ornate garden bundle. It is so awesome. but. Um, so for those that, that order this month, um, you can get it for free. I think it'll still be up in my um, online store, or I have like a PDF store um, for tutorials for purchase. So that'll be there. If you don't um, get it, you can probably get it in the future for twenty one dollars. But this month, if you order it, if you order from me, you can get it for free, which is pretty awesome. And it's ninety tutorials, which is super huge. Just think of mine. Mm. I love this stuff. So my allergies are really horrible. And I really drink, I used to drink um, Coca-Cola, like mainline it. I was drinking so much that it's so bad for you. But I need the carbonation. So I switched to um, bubble water. I love bubble water. So that's my newest favorite fan thing that I love so much. Okay. So hopefully, um, oh no, it looks like it went a little blurry. Beautiful. Go back to way looks like it's I'm looking at it the wrong on the wrong thing. Yay! Oh wait, no, it's still it's not too bad. Anyway, so we have um these are the two DSP cards that I usually make. So this one was a tutorial for my newsletters for a while back. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love this kitty. I miss that little kitty. She's so cute. Um and then it flips. Sweet. Love, love, love. And so this is the kind of card we're going to make today, is with this one right here. This is one that we've made. I made in the past. The, the ladybug was supposed to set from the floor. And this is also one um, that I make with the DSP. And it's that I, I cut that 12 by 12 DSP down um, into strips of by 4 by um, 12. Isn't that cute? So cute. With the DSP, which is super lovely. 
but we're going to make this one. And this is actually one that I saw um, Rhonda Wade make. And I like it because it shows both sides of the DSP and it's super cute. Um, but we're going to, instead of this, this cute little kitten, I'm going to actually use the Bonsai Buddies set. So I absolutely love the Bonsai Buddies set. And the DSP is super adorable. Um, they have so many cute things to cut out or use for papers. Um, the lion, there's the toucan, and there's balloons. Um, let's see what else we got here. Presents. I'm just sorry, that toucan. And the koalas. Oh, we're well, going to use that today. And here is um, candles. Ice cream, more lions, right? Lots of balloons. And then the, the one that I've actually cut up, I've actually cut it all up. Um, my favorite piece from this set is actually the one we're going to use today. And it is this one right here. So, isn't that cute? It has all the characters. This piece of DSP, and I've cut it all up. I'll show you what it looks like. Long, so I've already cut it up. Now, um, this is a fun, uh, fun, kind of a fun fold. Um, and there's two different ways to do it, um, depending on what you like or how it goes when you first put in your score lines. Um, but anyway, so we are going to use the um, birthday, but the Bonanza Buddies stamp set, and I'm going to show you the um, the stamp and cut as well. Um, the fabulous embossing, um, not embossing, the dies that go with the set that are fabulous, so you can cut out the critters. Um, although you can make this card without using um, the stamp set, um, you can use any of your happy birthday stamp set that you have. But I actually wrote down all my measurements. <laughs> so this is a fun card. So I'm going to show you guys how to make the base. So like I said, I got this from Rhonda Wade. And even though I've cut it, I can still show you where, where I put the score lines. So this is just a basic 12 by 12 sheet that I've actually cut um, at four. Just, I just cut it down at four. So it's 12 and four, right? Hi, Julie. And um, I've cut. So when you get your score out, you've got it at four. So the trickiest part of doing this is to make sure your animals are going the right way or your design is going the right way, if it matters. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it both ways in case you accidentally do it the wrong way once, right? So the long piece, the piece that needs to make sure that when you fold it down, um, the original way we did it, we fold it down. This 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 piece right here is four and a quarter. So when you put your um, paper in, and your first score line is going to be at four and a quarter, is where you're going to do your first score line. But you see how my animals are this way? And that's because they're going to be folded down. And this piece right here, I just did myself. So that's one of the reasons why if you mess up, it's almost okay. Because um, you're going to actually fold this yourself. So that it's, um, so if you've messed up, um, you can make it the way you want. So, so the first cut, so you know, I want my animals to go that way. So the first not cut, the first score is at four and a quarter, and then the second is at nine and a half. Right? Do do do. We have nine and a half. So and then your score is right here at nine and a half. And then, oops, I'm not quite used to my setup yet. I'm working on it. But fabulous, fabulous. Okay. So once you've got your score lines in, you see how it's scored here and here. And then what I did to get to this fold right here is. I just with my fingers because I want it to be on top of this one. See like that how it's a little bit just like that. And then I just use my fingers to do it. So this one isn't always exactly the same. Um, you could try to do it exactly the same every time. Um, Rhonda Wade is just like, oh, it's about an inch. She does it um, on the fly. So that's how I do it too. Now if you do it the other way where you accidentally do your um, you put your animals in the wrong direction, you can still use it. You would just do it the opposite. So this is um, basically how I learned how to do it was this at the top and this at the bottom. This part on the bottom and this part on the top. 
you can just switch it around because you haven't um this is folded is flat you do it yourself that you can just do it so it's like this because we're actually going to mount um our stuff on top so it, it still looks good it looks a little bit different i mean this way it looks exactly the same right it'll just be the way that it opens will be a little bit different um and the only problem is that this isn't as heavy which is why it's better to do it this way but you can still do it this way so let's do that Move that out of the way. okay so then once you've got that cut um or you got the cut and score these are our bases um i'm gonna have one is going to be with our fabulous uh grapefruit grove and this is actually just um the four and a quarter and five and a half so just a piece you can get four out of our eight and a half by eleven and it's just going to go right here on top so we're actually going to mount our um user adhesive and actually um, put it on top onto the um the base i'm just going to use glue you can use tear and tape if you want you know it's hard it's hard to color over that to to use the thing you need to make sure you have your you know where your score lines are so you don't accidentally add more glue than you need it works pretty good because you can gives you a little bit of wiggle room but like i said tear and tape also works really well okay so i have to stand up so i can do that almost perfect so i'm just going to put it on here so it uh, it is a, a little bit bigger of a layer, so it's a little bit easier to try to get it on there straight, which is nice. It isn't like a super tight 1 16th, and it was really hard to get it on there. So I can just have it on the full. There we go, just like that. Going in. And then we're going to put, we have an inside, the inside layer that goes inside it, and the inside layer that goes inside it is 5 by 3 and three fourths and I, of course we'll have all these measurements up on later but we're going to stamp on this so i don't want to mount that yet okay so now we have that and we can do it on the other one as well this one's going to be gray so we're going to make our lion with the orange the grapefruit grove and that this grapefruit grove is really great that goes with this dsp um is one of our in colors that is going away so if that's one of the colors that you love, I would definitely get on it and get it now. As you can tell, some of the, the ink color stuff, I think we lost the DSP, she went away yesterday. Um, oops, I'm sure you can put it on. I don't know, I guess it didn't matter. I'm just going to get it this way. Just kind of get it on here. And I'm using Smoky Slate because I'm going to use the, the Koala Bear, which I absolutely adore this Koala Bear. Super cute. Okay, there we go. Right again. Okay, so then we're gonna build our front. So I cut um, half inch strips, uh, one inch by four inch. And I'm gonna use the the smoky slate on this, and the grapefruit grove on this one. And the tricky part about this part is that you want to start with your lip. So. Um, the one that doesn't have the fold over, that's when you need to go first. Now I've done this a couple of times where I've used more like fancy edging. You can use any kind of fancy edging. I'm actually just going to use these one inch strips for this time. And you just want to make sure you get it on here straight and at the top, right? So that when you, you turn it over, you don't see it. Just like that. And the important point why you start with this side first is because um, because we're kind of eyeballing this inch fold over flap. We want to see see how much comes out on this side. You are going to want to put just that much to come out on that side. See what I'm saying? So that it's even. Yeah, you just want it to be that. So what I suggest is a little bit of glue. On this edge here and I like glue because it like I said it gives you a little bit of wiggle room 
Okay. Put edge on this flap. I'm going to glue this flap down. So, know how much we want to show. Because we can see it on this other side. It's about halfway. I, I did a good job folding this one. It's about halfway. So you just want to make sure you get your this your gray piece or whatever your edging piece. We'll do the same thing over here with the orange with the grapefruit grove. So it's like that. And then you, just like that. Wait, yeah. Okay. And then you need to add a little bit to the back of this. So then add it. Some glue. To the back of your oh, smoky slate piece. <gasps> we did. Okay, so that's our flat for that one. So we're going to do the same thing if we do it from the top, right? So we want to make sure we put the orange on our grapefruit grove at the top. We want to make sure it's square that we can't see it on the other side. And the reason why I like to do this at four is because you can get three of these cards out of one piece of DSP, which is pretty awesome. So we just want to do it this way. You can see more. Thank you. We go. Like I said, I like the glue because it gives you just a tiny bit of wiggle room, which is nice. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing as we did over here. We're going to add a little bit of glue to the edge. Right here. And now we want this to be about half, we're about halfway of it to show. Okay. And then, like I said, turn it sideways so you can kind of see it. So it is a little bit more eyeballing. It's so cute. I love this one. Okay. I think you got that to be about right. Great Very nice. Then we need to add blue. We're going to glue this down. Now you can be all um, tricky and put your, your um, ribbon through there. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try. Um, snail works really good too. But I like to use the glue because it does give me a little bit of wiggle room. And then I have these fabulous um, erasers. Stampin' Up! used to sell them a long time ago. You can now get them at the craft store or online at Amazon. So the craft racers. And what's awesome with them is they help you get all the excess glue. Just don't do it when it's super wet. Wait till it's dry because you don't want to actually smudge your cardstock. It doesn't take much though for that to set dry. And then take your bowl and folder and make sure you've got all your pieces good. Okay, so we want this to be on the bottom. Right, this is the part that's going to be the top. Just like that. Wait again. Is that cute? Oh my gosh. Isn't this paper totes adorable? Oh, I love it. Okay. So, and then I used um, my layering circles. And I got used these two layering circles from the layering circles dies, which I absolutely love. These are a great set to have. Um, and this one is like the third biggest, which is, you know, the thing is hard to see what it is. Um, about two and a half inches, no, yes, two and a half inches um, is the one that I use to make the bigger piece. And um, then the little one is the one I'm going to use to do the offset color. And it want, it is also it's about uh, two and a quarter. So that's pretty interesting. Okay. So like I said, I'll have all these measurements up on my um, 
in the bog post later. I love this. Is a so I've already done those, and I just die cut, die cut them out. And, um, yay. Okay. So, what did I do with? Oh. Did I? Now I've like lost my train. Let's see. Oh, right. The yellow goes on here. I was like, wait, that doesn't match. Okay. All right. So I like that. Okay. So I also, and then I took my two inch punch and I just, I just cut out, I punched out one of the critters from the DSP. Just like that. I just, um, uh, for both the lion and for the koala. So that I could put them on. Lions or the great big girl. Koala is he, isn't he super cute? Love. Okay, now we're gonna put on our. Um, before we glue this down, we're going to tie our ribbon. Like I said, you could have gone underneath. I was I want to see the ribbon, so I'm gonna do it on the top. So this is actually our grapefruit grove. And like I said, the grapefruit grove stuff is going away. This is the gross grain ribbon. Um, it's super cute. So if everyone is having a lovely Tuesday and everything's going well, or as well as it can be, we're all staying home and trying to be safe. Hopefully. So I did 20 inches, which is probably more than you need. Um, for this. Oh my goodness. I'll give myself a bit so that I can have more room to make this go. Oh, I still have to hold your hand. You have to hold your um, tongue just right. My upline, she makes her bows upside down. She does a great job though. I want to make sure that this side is not all funky. I want to tie it to this side, although it doesn't matter because it can move. Right? So, tie it over here. Then we can move it. I don't know why I just didn't do that last one. Okay, there we go. I want it to be in the middle. I want that to be smaller. You like the gross grain? So they have um, this in all of the other color, or uh, this type of ribbon for all the other colors. So if you like this tiny, used to have, Stampin' Up! used to have a um, gross grain, but it was the fatter gross grain. This is the one eighth of it. It's a quarter inch, maybe, for screen. I used to have it um, for all of the colors. It's kind of cool. That was the only color that we had. <laughs> okay, so I think that's the bow that I want. And then this is my gray one. It's going to make the gray for the orange ones on there. Okay, so I need. We're going to attach this, but we're not going to attach it with, um, on the bottom piece, right? Because this is the way it's going to lift on this one. So we need to make sure that we put the piece, the, um, stamp of dimensionals on the top, right? But not on the bottom because it's going to go like this. We don't want it to, so you don't want it to be, um, on top of the other side. One right here. Make sure my ribbon doesn't slide off. And we'll cut it. I don't want to wait till I get my line on here and put it on the cloth. Get that centered. Like that. Ah, so sweet. Okay. 
And then we're just going to glue our koala that we, we punched out with our two-inch punch to our smoky slate um, scallop circle that we die cut with the layering dies. So cute. Oh, we haven't even done any stamping. These are super cute. Okay, so I'm actually going to glue it down so that when I mail this, it's not too high of a profile. Holding it, can you see that? I'm holding it. Yay! Okay, there we go. It's not really dry. It's so funny. Okay, there we go. Do do do, just like that. And I'm not sure I like that. I do not. I think I like the knot better. Yeah, I like that. That seems like a knot, so we have a little bit extra. And then we'll move that. Very cool. There that is. Okay, we good. All right, so there we go. There it is. So that's pretty easy to get that on there. Um, oh, that's why it's not working. Duh. I didn't take off the. You have to actually take off the sample that I was going pieces. Why is that feeling like it isn't working? Because I didn't even hear it. <laughs> there we go. All right, move in. Look at that. How super cute is that? Okay, now let's do the inside. Okay, so um, the inside, like I said, um, is the five by three and a quarter and we're going to use the stamp set so i was going to show you a couple of things about this stamp set and i'm going to get a piece of scrap paper let's write scrap paper okay so i wanted to show you a couple of things that you can do with this stamp set so the stamp set is for fabulous i've got my um my lion and my koala and just so you guys can see what it what it does, so I want to do the koala in um, the smoky slate, just like that. It's so cute. And then you use your um, his little face is on a different piece, and so I'm just using my memento back. See here it is. So I'm using this in it. A second piece. For his little nose. That's so that I can see. <gasps> Just like that. Isn't he super cute? And then you can use your dies, um, the dies that come with this set, and you can cut him out. Here I've shown you guys a die cutted one out. And these are the dies. So he's pretty easy. I die cutted him out. Super cute, right? So you can also stamp them on like this onto your um, your inside if you want, or you, uh, or you could die, die cut them out and then glue them on if you want. So there's two options with that. So let me show you about the lion though is a little bit more tricky. So the lion is the daffodil of light, and his mane is mango melody. So let's make his body. So I stamped him twice because I was going to show you guys. So if you're going to stamp him onto your project, um, you're going to stamp, you're going to layer your stamps on top of each other. So with the main, we're going to try, we're going to stamp the main right on top of his face or on top of the, and this is his tail piece, tail piece, and then this is the, um, little mane which is super cute. There's 
So I find this a little bit more hard to do. But it turned out pretty good. Yay! Okay. Or, and then you, I'm going to do the other one where I'm just going to snap his mane to the side. Okay. And then you need to add his face. And I'm again using the mental black. And that's this little piece right here. That's his face. So my husband ordered me really fancy lights, and they are supposed to be coming soon. Okay, so add a little face thing. Oh, isn't that super cute? And I'll add a space in here. Super cute. But you notice how I didn't stamp the second one on top because of the dies. So when you're going to die cut out your image instead of stamping it directly onto your, your project, um, you need to do it separately because... This cuts out like this, and this one cuts out here, and mane has his own die too, and they come out separately. So it actually cuts the little mane piece, um, not the, the mane piece, and the little tail piece separate, and it also um, cuts the body and the head. So when, when you use the die cut and cut them out, you get his face, or I mean his... Um, Body, and then there's his mane, and then here's his tail. So you can build it. And where did his little face go? There he is. And he builds that, and then here's his little face that you put on side. So when you die cut it, it builds it up. So you need to do it in two different steps. But you can also stamp it all as one together. Isn't that super cute? Super cute. And, or if you don't want to feel like stamping, you can always fussy cut out. So like here I fussy cutted this lion in this ha happy birthday hat. And now um, from the DSP. And you can do the same thing with your um, the koala. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you guys you can um, this DSP is so awesome. And it's about the same size. I'm pretty sure, I think you can actually there's a um, a koala on here just like this you can actually you don't want to fussy cut out with the hat you can die cut out the koala oh, that's super cute love love and the toucan too no we're not I'm not giving the toucan any love today um, or you can just fussy cut it out like I'm going to do they have some with balloons like what we use for the front of our card Card. Right. I'm just gonna fussy cut this one out really quick. This um, there's so many options with this set of DSPs. So cute. I love this DSP. No, that's the only sad part. So we're gonna find out what's staying and what's going. But we know for sure that this DSP is gonna be going away. So if this is a DSP that you like, I would definitely get on. And get some today. Tomorrow the retire list comes out. And I'm pretty sure this will be on it because Grapefruit Grove is one of the colors. And that's one of the ways we can, you know, kind of logic out when uh, what what's saying what's going. Um, it has colors that are going away. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. I love this koala. I really hope this set stays, but I do know the paper probably will not be staying. Look at that, it's so cute. So you can add the, um, the characters to your cards or your scrapbook pages. This would make a great scrapbook page set too. Um, with just doing that. So, uh, where did I do that? Let's go white. Insert plate. There we go, my inserts. Okay. So, oh, I do like the knot better. Okay, so I love this set as it has a cute little happy birthday. And I'm just going to use the happy birthday because I didn't put a sentiment on the front. But it also has, I'm glad it's your birthday. I can tell you how wonderful you are. And let's celebrate. Those are great inside um, 
uh, Let's Celebrate You. It's a great inside dance, which is nice. Oh, it's a happy birthday. Because I want to put a character on here. Now, if you have like a bunch of DSP and you don't want to stamp a character, you can always add a piece of DSP to the bottom, like what I usually do um, with my cards, or you can add the character. So, this is the I'm going to add him on the inside. Screw him in. And he is just this fussy cutted little koala bear. It's so cute. So cute. Okay, but still, I'm going to add this on the inside. Now, they also, if you look on the stamp set, you can, they have accoutrements like a birthday cut, birthday presents or presents, and they have a birthday hat. So you can add those onto your characters or just use those stamps um, to add to your birthday. Oh, he's so cute. So cute, so cute. Oh. Oops, I got a little bit of glue. Man, I'm having trouble with that glue today, aren't I? I do with my little glue thing. Just cut it down. Underneath the Glue off. For me, it sticks up to it. It's so bad. I love the glue. You have to not be totally horrible. Oh my gosh. Super cute. Isn't that super cute? And then, of course, you can add on the back your happy birthday. Oh, so cute. And then we can also add our other koala on the back. Isn't it cute? So cute. So we have some other koala. So cute. the back of my card is not naked so here's the koala version with the pokey slate and this is with it up on the top so now let's just finish the other one where it's on the bottom right so the reason why it hangs better but we're just going to mail it so it doesn't really matter this one's not one you can actually like set up so um for that it doesn't really matter okay so let's build it out again i want to add our um Rose green ribbon. Remember, we're doing it to this side. <laughs> Not that one. And you too. So I hope everyone is, is staying safe and, and busy and their families are all well. Not, um, I don't know how everything's going well for you guys. Now it's already like. 21st of April, I can't believe it. it's already that far into April. It's really hard for me to believe it. it just goes by so quickly. So quickly. I don't like the yellow, that's why I wanted to take it out. Like this. I'm so used to the fluffy. More, um, I was using the, um, the striped, the petal pink striped organdy ribbon. And it's super fluffy. So it's hard to go from the super fluffy. It's not fluffy at all. So I hate it too. I don't need this twist in it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just have to keep changing. Then, I do like the side bow, whether it's fluffy or not, I do love the side bow. Okay, so this time when we put this on, I will remember not to, um, not forget to take off the little, okay, so now I've messed, I've lost my little, where's my little, too much front to it again. It's stuck to the inside of my dimensionals. 
Dies. Wow, I'm so not yet used to using this sort of fun, um, different setup. <laughs> totally not there yet. Okay, so I'm going to glue my lion for my DSP that I cut with my two inch circle. I'm going to glue it to the piece of um, grapefruit grove. I, uh, that I cut out with the layering circles, the scout circle. I'll have the um, I think it was two and a quarter. And glue it on to that feel delight. Super cute. Okay. And then I make sure on this one, instead of putting it at the top, you have to put it at the bottom. Right? So, we want to get, still do the same thing. We want to make sure that we don't have our um, ribbon escaping. Definitely put that like that. Take the little pieces off. Okay. We want it to be. Centered over the top of. Looks like I got bounced off. Um, not sure where I was at when it got bounced off, but I completed the the front in part that goes on the top. Then I um, just glued my inside piece after building my little lion, and it was the body. And then I used stamp dimensionals to put his mane on. And then I just glued his little face. Isn't that super cute? Super cute. And so then on the back, I'm going to glue the line that I cut out with DSP. Maybe I can't get the glue out. Doo -doo -doo. So yeah, I know it just stopped in the middle. And what was funny is um, I thought it was still going. So I was trying to check everything out while still trying to see what was going on. But it actually stopped the video. Although on my side it still said it was live, which is really wild. Usually when they, um, it's really hard to tell when you got your connection stopped. There you go, isn't that super cute? So these are the two different ways you can make the DSP. Like I said, um, this is the one that I prefer, but when you accidentally, um, score your paper in the wrong direction, you can still make the card. You can't really tell the difference between the two except for how you open it. This one opens down and this one opens up. But it's super cute. That lion is so adorable. Aren't they super cute? And you can get all of them now, which is so exciting because they've been on back order. Pieces of this um, pieces of this that have been on back order for quite a while. So and of course luckily we were just at the end. So it wasn't too bad. I wanted to see what that I thought I had set up a envelope. Let me get my like envelope pin out. And what is really awesome about this size card is that it does actually you can actually put it through and send it in the mail. And it totally fits. Um, because this is just the five and a half by four and a quarter that we usually have. So it's pretty awesome. I really, really enjoy. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's cards. And we got um, stopped at the end of the, with this DSP, which I really love. Isn't that super cute? So cute. Like I said, they have the stamps. You can make um, party hats to your heart content. It has the cute little party hats. And you can get those pom-poms now. They're in my back online online store put on top of the party hats um, make or make presents so you can stamp those and the die and the um, dies cut them out so um, you can add them in so they have and it also has these really pretty pennants which are pretty cute and a fabulous tag so this is a great set um, makes the most adorable kids cards happy birthday cards oh, they're so cute I mean I love this koala he's so cute and the lion's pretty awesome too. 
And it is kind of fun when um, this one, because you can build them up. So he's very three dimensional. When you die cut him out, which is super cute. Right? Super cute. Let's go this way. Muy bien. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's card. I'm sorry that we got separated there in the middle. Hopefully um, you can hear me and it's still okay now. Um, just let you know if you guys need anything, you can um, order on my online store using the April host code. Unless it's 150 and then you want to not use the host code, you want to just get the, um, oops, I need to get more spots here. You can get all of the rewards and I will still, um, then do the fabulous tutorial. So there are 90 of them, which is fabulous. So it'll be in two emails, four attachments, but it's so awesome. And what's great about tutorials too is that you can apply those to use different stamp sets. Um, even though I think both of, um, both of the dies are now on back order, which is bad, but they are going to be in the new catalog, so you will have plenty of chance to get it, um, which is exciting. So, um, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this fabulous. I love, love, love. But like I said, you can get all of these products. You guys, I, I hope. How did you guys like the new catalog and how they have this piece in the back? I absolutely love this. I use it way too much. So on page thirty-four, I see that toucan. Makes it easy to look this stuff up. I hope that's something that they continue. So this is the um, fabulous birthday bonanza, and um, like I said, this this uh, fabulous daffodil delight rush ribbon is back in stock. It's been out of stock for so long, as, as well as the um, assorted pom poms and the dies. So you can get the whole suite, and that's this code right number right here. You can get the whole suite together, or you can get it all piece. Remember, um, if you order the bundle with the stamp set and the dies, you get 10% off. So that's always an extra awesome bonus. Love, love, love. But yeah, so I love Grapefruit Grove, though. It's going away. So that DSP will be going away. So if that's something that you love, I would totally get a low pack. I totally am. I love, love, love this stamp set. And um, this whole suite is so adorable. Isn't that cute? Oh, so cute, so cute. Okay. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and um, I'll probably pop on probably tomorrow morning with um, my favorite pumpkin. So I'll talk to you guys later. Happy crafting. Bye.